Thank you so much. Okay. I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. This is a conversation I've been looking forward to all week because I'm here right now with Martin Woodward who is the VP of Developer Relations at GitHub. He's also my boss. Yeah. So um, please give me a good review. Will do. All yeah. right. Anytime now. Um, I mean, I guess it'll probably depend on like how this goes. So yeah, let's this hope. interview's fantastic, and uh, <laughs> yeah, but you've got great shoes, so that's the main thing. I, I do have great shoes. Um, the audience can't see this, but my shoes are literally like a blue screen of death blue and a 404 error. They're really great. Oh, they're zooming in. Yes, please. Yes, get the shoes. They are really good. Thank you. Thank you for the. Thank, thank you, Martin, for for giving that that shout out. Okay, so GitHub Copilot, which is our AI coding assistant was all over the keynote, it's been all over build this week. What are some of the biggest features that developers can look forward to using um, in the future? Yeah, so the keynote we announced, sort of the two major things that people have seen was uh, Copilot extensions. Yep. So you can now build and extend on top of the Gil Copilot platform, which is yep. great, which and that's great. massive. Yep. And then um, Copilot Workspace as well got a lot of, you know, it was the first time it's been demoed live on stage before. And so it's nice for people to see it was like actually real and right, works. And right. people are playing with it over in the booth over there and things, that's great. And we also had a few announcements as well that didn't, you know, didn't make the keynote, but are new. So in terms of um, around the Copilot Enterprise features, it's got a lot better at being able to do uh, rag-based search around your source code. Very cool. And then even if you ask it questions like, what's the latest version of C-sharp? You know, it comes back and tells you it's C-sharp 13 because it's able to um, use Bing to actually go and get the latest Nice, stuff. nice. It, yeah, so it can, like, it can add to the stuff that's already in the model. Right, so it can augment on top of the model yeah, that's already exactly. there. And, and that's really important because that's kind of like what we need, right? Because we're, we're getting almost uh, not dependent on these things, but we can see that you know, potential, yeah. and then we want like, okay, what's the latest information we can get? Exactly. So that's really great. All right, let's go a little back and let's talk a little bit more about, you know, the, the GitHub Copilot extensions, because this has been exciting to me as a user, and, and it's definitely something that I'm excited to talk to developers about, but why are we doing this, and like, what is the benefit to developers with this? Yeah, so what you get to do is you get to bring, so how it works is inside of the Copilot experience, you can at mention an expert. So for example, you can at mention data stacks or mm -hmm. in the keynote we did at Azure. Right. And then you can get the context and the information from these systems into your uh, Copilot conversation and then ask it queries. Like I, I was asking, you know, where's, where's my particular web app deployed? Or you can say, what's happening with my app? And it can look into your app insights, telemetry and things like that. So you get to bring the, uh, the context and information to you, but from all of your systems, that's not just uh, third parties and providers, but you can even build your own extensions. Yeah. And then like hook it into your own systems at work. So then people who are building systems in work get to benefit from your knowledge wherever it is, even if it's not in source control. So um, yeah, and I think actually the mo most powerful thing is people building extensions for their own business. That uh, this is how we deploy things in Contoso or in Microsoft right. or in a bank or whatever. Right. Be good. No, that should be really good. Okay, so like, um, you know, uh, how does this work and what, what types of extensions are there? So there's two, so you do a, um, a Git or Copilot extension. Okay. And that's, you can think about that's like a server side thing that lives in the Copilot, you know, the Git or Marketplace. And that allows you to kind of get in the conversation and um, you can be mentioned and then you can actually send stuff to the Copilot LLM and get the answers back and things as part of your, your flow. Right. And then on top of that, you can even extend that further. So the, the uh, VS Code team announced a bunch of APIs. So if you want to further enhance the experience within VS Code for VS Code users, you can do that as well. And then that allows you to not only bring down the information from the server and from Copilot, you can go look in the client IDE and actually you know, combine the two and then use that to give your answer. So. Which is really cool, yeah, actually, um, and, and, and he stressed that this was just proof of concept because he doesn't, you know, what, what uh, anybody can after him, but, but Jeff from Elastic was actually showing me uh, an extension that he built um, earlier today right. um, using that, and, and it was really powerful being yeah. able to use that agent's feature, so that's really cool. Yeah. And I think that, that um, offers people a lot of opportunities. And, and what are some of the extensions that, like, developers can build with, with uh, GitHub Copilot? Yeah, so, I mean, the... Um you can build any get anything that's in you know gets into that conversation. So all, all things from like at Azure, where it, it helps you with your Azure resources, or at DataStacks, where it's helping you with your databases. Well, you can all, you can do anything. Like um, one of my colleagues is actually talking in about thirty minutes time. Uh, uh, it's 
BRK149, if you want BRK to BRK149, OK. That's uh, extending co-pilot. Um, he wrote uh, an extension which gives you all your answers talking like a pirate. Because <laughs> you can, because you can get involved in the conversation and influence what the LLM model gives you. I love it. OK, so I'm, I'm now going to assign myself, and you're my boss, so you're going to have to hold me accountable yeah. to this, that I'm going to assign one that's going to give me answers with Taylor Swift lyrics. That would be amazing. That would be, that's actually really doable. That's really easy to do, so... OK, yeah. so, so we're going to do it, and we're going to make it a demo. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, okay. I, I'm, I'm assigning that to myself. Next build, we're going to do that as a demo. <laughs> yes. And you're going to yes. be on stage with me? Yes. Sweet, let's We're going to do it. We're going to do okay. it. Um, and then we also have, you know, bu building people yep. your own. We've already got some partners who've already announced yeah. some things, right? I have a list. You have a list. Please, so, please let us know. It's, yeah, you can now watch an old guy read names out on stage. So yeah, we Datastax Docker. Uh, we had um, Launch Darkly, so that's great. So oh, that's is awesome. this feature flag enabled in production? Like, See, that's so useful. When you're a DRI, like, you know, you're on call, you're in a code base you don't quite understand. Now you can ask questions about code you don't quite understand because Copilot and GitHub can find the right code for you, bring it down. Right. And then you can also ask questions of the systems you're integrated well, with. Well, that's the thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, because this is power, because again, like, and to be able to do that all from like the interface where you do all your coding, right? Exactly. To not have to go to one service to another to another yeah. in one place. I can just ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got what's more. Going on? Tell me uh, more. Lambda test. Lambda test. Kinsey, Octopus deploy, do a cool one. Nice. Um, and then we have obviously uh, Teams have got an extension as well as the Azure one, which we talked about. And then yeah, Pinecone, uh, product science. Uh, Sentry, and I'm trying to uh, read me. Read me was your one for documentation. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. So, and that's that's good for documentation. Do you know how that one works? Um, it allows you to like query the docs that you've got because it has their little index, which is perfect. Then, if you've created your own internal docs using README plugins, then it allow you to integrate into them. It will awesome. also help you create docs for code that you have and things like that, which is pretty neat. No, that's skeleton very neat. it and give you the you know you it doesn't yeah. replace human authors, but of it gives course. you the it's a lot easier to edit something than it is to come up with it by scratch. Well, no, here's the thing, like, we, we all know this, like, how important, like, documenting code is and writing, and, and uh, commenting code is and documentation, but getting started, like, even creating that skeleton, that scaffolding, yeah. is, for a lot of people, a barrier to entry, yeah. and so that's, that's great. And that's a bit that spoils your creativity, that's a bit that stops you from being in the flow, because you're like, oh, I've got to do a template, and blah, right. blah, blah, and whereas you can just say, Give, get me started, it gives you starting, okay, now I'm here, now I can just edit, and that's what we found with Copilot in general is it's, it's improving developers' iteration time. So we're getting faster at building. We're not, I think people f were afraid that we maybe build massive PRs and things like right. this. But if you look at the data from people like Accenture, they're actually seeing 50% more builds happening for, for teams that have Copilot in school. Oh, wow. Because they're doing shorter builds, because they're able right, to iterate more. Right, because they're able to iterate quickly. more. Yeah. No, that makes a ton of sense. Um, and uh, actually, it's funny. We uh, we've had um, an installation uh, here at, at Microsoft Build, like showing off Copilot, new the Pixel yeah. stuff, and that kind of builds on that idea because it is an iteration process. Yeah. You're trying to try to make that work. So I I like that. Now, all right. How can people, you know, start playing with this stuff? When is this going to be available? How how can people, you know, start testing out these extensions? And when can they start, you know, building them themselves? Yeah. So that uh, BRK one four nine session this afternoon, you can go watch that. That'll help talk you through it, or watch the video, you know, as soon as it's available. And then um, you you sign up to join the waitlist to actually get access to all the APIs because they want they want to make sure they're getting feedback on the APIs. Right. Which is why they announced it here at Build because where else to get where the else? best feedback in the world? Absolutely. Exactly. And then um, doing that, and then the extensions can go into the marketplace, and then people can use those extensions, and then later on in the year, depending how feedback goes, make those more generally available. So that's currently the plan. That's currently the plan. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit later, um, more, more generally a little later yeah. on, but you can sign up um, to get on, on, on the wait list now um, and check out BRK149. Uh, uh, 149. 149. Yeah. And then there's a short URL as well, uh, um, gh.io slash copilot slash extend. Okay. And that'll take you to the blog post and all the documentation, all that sort of stuff. That's great. That's great. All right. Um, do you have any final thoughts, any final things you want to you share with us? Well, we've got no, a few just more minutes. To, yeah, check it out. And also, if you get a chance, if you're here at the show, check out Copilot Workspace. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to people's extensions and seeing what wacky ideas people have got. Absolutely. And if you have any bugs, this is the man you need to go to, Martin Woodward. He, he's going to, I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to take care of all this for you. Um, see, I, we were doing a, such a great interview, and now my review is going to be bad. Yeah, but yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Um, send the bucks to me, don't send them to the Martin. But yeah, uh, My email address is filmgirl at github.com. <laughs> so, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's in there. All right. Uh, Martin, thank you so much for joining me. And thanks for being here. And I know you've been doing a, a ton of great stuff. And I, I'm so excited to get to talk to you and also about extensions. Thank you for having me.